pretty unlikely. Uh, the way this world works, if the internet's not running right now, the whole world shuts down. So, now, that's just a little bit of the Bitcoin history. You know, Bitcoin is being mined just like gold and silver, but it's being mined digitally. Okay, the guy that started this was in 2008, uh, Satoshi, whatever his name is, out of Japan. Okay, he he made this so that when the year 2140 comes, there will be no more mining of Bitcoin, and the the full value, the full amount of Bitcoin will be only be 21 million Bitcoins worldwide, which means the supply will be small. Comparatively, right? So that's why you hear and see all of these um, posts on the internet, these pundits talking about Bitcoin may be five thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand dollars at some point in time in the future, because when this this is starting to this is really starting to catch hold. I mean, it's taken eight years, but it's starting to catch hold. Uh, China. Is the reason why it went from five hundred to eleven $1 hundred dollars because China is looking for a place to put the millionaires are looking for a place to put their money safely because they see the world currencies are, are in in chaos right now. Okay, so let me give you a quick little history lesson on why Bitcoin is going to be the last one standing in the nineteen hey, hey, twenties. Chuck, Chuck can, can you make your screen a bigger? Okay, let me back here. Is that good? Um, all I'm seeing now is your record your record box. Right, right, right. So, um, yeah. Um, you see the you see the Coinbase, right? Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. seeing now. I don't know where my where my record box go. If I record what I'm talking about, then I'll have to put my headphones on. No, I, I got you recording I, now. Okay, okay, very good. As long as you can hear me, I'm good. Um, I'm just I just haven't gone anywhere with now. Can you re, are you recording also on the uh, on the on the online as well? I'm not recording online. I'm just recording through the phone. Okay. Yeah, I'm All seeing. Right. I'm well, seeing well, what's on the screen. Yes, I'm. I'm using Screencast-O-Matic. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do when I start showing you other thing, I'll, I'll start my Screencast-O-Matic and we'll move from there. Okay. But uh, the history, the, the history lesson of money uh, comes back, comes all the way back to you know the Roaring Twenties when. Wall Street made its biggest move ever of 350%. And the reason why that happened was is because when the collapse happened, the World War I happened, um, then um, all the millionaires and billionaires, well, at that time it was millionaires. We didn't have billionaires back then. They had, they had to find a, a, a safe place for the money, and the only, only place that it was was Wall Street. And that was worldwide. All the worldwide leaders that had money, put their money there. That's why there was a 350% gain, and that's why they call it the Roaring Twenties, because the millionaires and the rich got richer and the poor got poor. They were in the soup lines while the rich got rich. So the same thing is happening today. Okay, the same. You know, we're we're only out of this. We're only out of this Great Depression because the Federal Reserve continues to print money at a astounding rate. Okay. They have to, they, they just had to raise the rates for the first time in eight years because they can't keep them at zero. There's no way. But what that's going to do is it's going to create this chaotic move in the market. I mean, our, if you raise the rates on houses and cars and whatever, the, the, the price of getting money, our, our house values have got to drop because people can't afford a $400,000 home at 6%. The, 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 uh, the jobs, do not the the income doesn't hold that. Okay, so what's going to end up happening is at some point in time in the future, you know, this monetary system is going to collapse. That's why in in England, 
uh, they decided to, to move away from the European Union because the European Union has 29 countries and 19 of them are failing. They said, I'm tired, we're tired of, of, uh, supporting Greece and, and all the other comp- countries that are, that are just, they don't have enough gross domestic product to ever come out of their debt. So England has been supporting that whole continent for years and they, they said, we're done. The people said, we're done with it. Our taxes are so high, we can't, we can't live peacefully anymore. Uh, and so that's what's been going on. And that's why Bitcoin is the currency people are looking to, to, for a safe place to put their money. That's why in the near future, it's not only this, this company, it's fund my cause is not only a great cause for people to make Bitcoin, but if you store that Bitcoin in the future, you're going to be a very wealthy individual. If you have 10, 15, 20 Bitcoin and it's at $1,000, okay, so now you got 20 grand. Next year it goes to 2,000. Now you have 40 grand if you never put a single another Bitcoin in your account. That's why this is so important for people to understand they need to get in this. Just get in it. And if you can get two people, just get two people because then you don't ever have to pay that monthly fee and, there's, and you're always going to double your money or double your Bitcoin every single month, even if you just had two people. That's why it's important to do that. Okay? So I hope I, I hope I explain that. Now that's, that's a long version of what you're going to talk to somebody about. But if they want to know about Bitcoin, at least you know and you can give them some sort of educated answer about what's going on in the world and why you should have this Bitcoin. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's what, that's what what I tell my people. I go through this every time and it's a hundred percent sign up. It's a hundred percent. People see that they see the world where it is today and they want to find a future for their family. They don't want to know that their money is not safe in a bank. Right? Mm -hmm. So, and I'm not saying that we want to take all of our money out of the bank and put them into this because that's not, I'm I'm not saying that. I'm saying you you just should have some sort of Bitcoin. You know, I, myself, I've got about a, a half a Bitcoin now saved up in this thing. So, it's, you know, it's, and it went from, uh, 1100 back down to 700. It's back up to 900 today. It's at 909 right now, as you can see right up here, right there. But, um, the bottom line is, is that this is an avenue on my cause that you could really, you know, really take a grasp and hold of. What I would uh-huh. suggest, when, so what I would suggest when you're talking to people is, is there, is there a cause? Is there something in your life, whether it's in your life or somebody that you know, that you, you can help somebody? Would you help them if, if you had the money to do it? Of course, everybody's going to say yes. They, they're going to think of somebody that has cancer. They're going to think of somebody that has heart problems. They're going to think of somebody that has some sort of illness or whatever that they need money for. Okay? And, and so once you tie it emotionally to them and let them understand that this is not no MLM. Everybody that gets in gives 100% to the person that, that, that got them in. In other words, you know, your, your two people, your first line people give you 100% of the money. Since I don't make any money, Sam doesn't make any money, Thomas, says, we don't make any money until you grow your business down levels and levels and levels. Okay? Then when they actually, those two people actually move up to the second level, then they will pay suit. Okay? They will pay suit and you because they're in the second level. When they get in the third level, then I will get paid. Right? So that's why it's so important to really um, grasp the notion of if you get in, we need to make sure in the first 30 days that you get two people. If you get two people, then you become a manager because now you're going to help those people find a way, like I'm doing with you right now, help you find your two people. Let me do what I can to help you get your two people because I don't want you to in 30 days to say, you know what, it never worked for me. Now I've got to pay, I've got to pay another half Bitcoin and, you know, it never worked. Well, it doesn't work because either your upline wasn't doing their job or you just didn't want to do it. One of the other. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Right. So that's, that's, 
you know, and I know we, you know, you guys have been in now pretty much from the, from the beginning of uh, January. So, we're, you know, we're looking at another couple of weeks before you have to, to make that second uh, payment. And I'd like to have two people in there for you so that you don't have to worry about that. So okay. that's why I'm sitting here today talking to you right now. Now, I understand through Soup that you guys were having issues, uh, and, and we did. We all have, it was, it's, it's, we wish it was a lot easier to do. It just isn't. There's, it's, it's going to be a little complication because it takes a little time to set up these accounts. And when you're not used to doing it, yes, it gets frustrating. There's no doubt about that. So, uh, Soup wanted me to, to, to show this to you, to try to help you understand and help the people that you're getting involved with this, how they get in. So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, if there's any other questions, do you have any other questions through your system? When you when you sign in, when you, I could all, I'm assuming you both have Bitcoin right now. I mean, Coinbase. Coinbase yeah. right now. So. Um, well, no, I think Soup has the other one. I have Coinbase. Soup, what do you have? I have both now. Okay. Okay. All right. So I got to get this uh, code from my phone because you know how secure this is. So they they send you a code so that you can get in this thing. Okay. So what I want to show you first of all is that everybody you get in, you want them to get in under your um, under your uh, code you get because you have in coinbase here you have you also have your own uh, link to get people in in uh, coinbase mm -hmm. so um, and the reason why you want to do that is because every ten dollars that they buy or sell you're going to make a little bit of bitcoin along with that okay so um, I wanted to find that setting. Where is that? You've got a link. I'm trying to find it. Okay. To the floor. It is right there. Oh, invite friends. There it is right there. Invite friends. So you go to invite friends and you pull this link right here. And you send that to your new person that's getting in. You tell them, okay, I want you to go on this link and sign up for, for, uh, for Bitcoin. You can even send that to their email right here. Just put their email in right there and hit invite. Okay. And you can, I mean, you could, you could actually promote Coinbase by, on Yahoo and share, you know, Facebook and Twitter too. So I wanted to show you that because if you get five, ten people in, involved, then uh, you can see right here it says invite a friend who buys or sells one hundred dollars of Bitcoin or more, and you'll you'll both earn ten dollars free Bitcoin. So that's not a bad deal. You're, you know, not only you, but they are they are as well. So the mm -hmm. referral the refer, referral works both ways. So now is that, cum is that cumulative, Chuck, or do they have to buy a hundred dollars at one time? Yes, I'm sure it's cumulative. I'm sure okay. it says you buy or sell, so that there is a plural there, so it's not like buy or sell 100. It says buys or sells 100 dollars in Bitcoin. Okay. So you'll see, you'll get that 10 dollars in Bitcoin, and both of you get that. So that's a pretty cool little deal for Coinbase to promote their their site. Okay. So what I want to do now is I want to just go back to the dashboard here, and and show you, um, well. We want to start from the start, from the very beginning. So I'm going to log back out. And let's see, log out right here. And when you log out, you're going to start. So getting started. So the person is going to have to put their email here. And I, I'm assuming if you send them a link, it should come up as a page uh, for them to, to sign up on. And, and you won't see this, but at some point in time. That person is going to get started. So we're going to, you know, to get started, we're going to put their name right here. Okay. I was going to go ahead and try. I don't want to really create a new account. That's why I really, what I want to do for Coinbase 
that sends you this video. This guy does a really good job. It's 12 minutes long. It's a little bit lengthy. He does a good job of showing you exactly how to set up the coin account on uh, um, What I am going to do, as opposed to actually going in and sign, uh, showing you how to sign up, is I'm going to just show you how to use your bank account. Um, well, when you get how, how to get your bank account set up. Because I can't really see how to, 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 to open up an account here without setting up a whole new account. I just don't want to do that right now. Okay, so the account is real simple, okay? The account that you set up, you've got your Bitcoin wallet here, and this is going to show all the, all the transactions I've made. But let me see, I'm trying to... I or so it's going to ask me somewhere. Okay, this is where you you're going to add your payment method. Okay, right now I got a, a, a the easiest way to do this is through a, a credit card. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, and and to add a new card, you're going to just go right here and you're going to add payment. Okay, so if you want to put your bank account information, I have my bank account as well. But you see right here, they want me to verify it. Mm -hmm. and that's why I haven't finished it yet, because when you verify these accounts, Coinbase will shoot over a, a three three numbers. One, a dollar number, it'll be a dollar bill, I mean, it'll be a dollar. And then they'll shoot two other verification deposits. One will be like, and it'll be between a dollar and two dollars, a dollar forty-five, a dollar ninety-two. And then you will take those and come back to this uh, to this uh, site, and you will put those values in. Um, I'm not going to do that because it's really that simple. You just take them. When you talk to your new people, this is the hardest part of the whole deal right here. Is ask them first of all, do you have a credit card or debit card that you can use to fund the account? Yes, I do. Okay, great. Because then you know that we can get this done quickly. The second thing you need to ask them is, do you have access to your bank account online? When you go online and look at your debits and deposits off of your credit card, whether it be Capital One, whoever it is, Bank of America, because they have to be able to get online and they have to be able to see those those uh, deposits, right? Mm -hmm. So. And it has to be done. You know, we want to be able to do it quickly. This is why I like to make sure that it's probably almost a one one time training just to get them to fund this part of the account because it's the longest, it's the hardest part and to get this account funded, right? So those are the two most important things. Do you have a credit card? If you do, can you get online to see your deposits and, and debits and, and and everything immediately? Yes, I can. Great. Let's go ahead and go online and start your Coinbase account and get it set up. Because then I can get it done in 10, 15 minutes as opposed to somebody who has no idea how to even get on their uh, statement online. You know, at that point in time, I'm going to say, look, you need to go ahead and uh, get, find an easier way to, to, uh, to fund your account. So with that being said, um, once the account is funded, once you transfer the money over, and to do that, you're going to hit buy and sell. Okay? So, you want at least 0.055 Bitcoin. The first, the first deposit is always going to be 0.055 Bitcoin. Okay? And at today's value, that's 49.95. Okay? okay. You want a little bit extra in there because there's some small, tiny fees that, that Coinbase charges. It's not much, but it's, it's maybe a buck or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this instantly, and I'm going to move, and it's going to say confirm my buy, right? So I'm going to hit confirm buy. You see they're going to tell me it went through or not. So yes, it went, the purchase was successful. So I just put another .05, and if you remember, it was $170 something, now it's $220 in here, my total down. Okay. So my total my total Bitcoin is now at 0.244. Okay. Mm -hmm. So 
Um, that's pretty good. So I'm going to go back now. If I now the sell, it would be to send the money back to my account, which is another program, another training altogether. We'll worry about that when you when you've got about four or five Bitcoin worth five thousand dollars in your account, and we're ready to ready to send, shoot that money back to your bank account. Okay, so we're not going to worry about that right at this moment. But if I wanted to send money to my blockchain account, right, I'm going to have to get a blockchain address. So that's over here in my blockchain, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, when you're doing this with somebody, you have to have them open a blockchain account. So I'm kind of doing this backwards for, for just a second, but I just want to show you the process. Once they have the money in Coinbase, then I'm going to send it from my Coinbase account to my Bitcoin, uh, my blockchain account. Okay. And so you want to find the receipt because you're receiving to your blockchain account. So I am going to take this. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to put it right here. Then I'm going to say I'm going to I want to put 0 0.02 Bitcoin into my uh, blockchain wallet, okay? And I'm going to say um, I'm just going to make a note of what why I'm doing it, and I'm just going to put training purposes, okay? So when I hit send funds. It says you're about to send 0 0.02 Bitcoin with $18 to this receive account. Do you want to do it? If I do, I hit confirm. Okay, send complete. Now I'm going to go to my Bitcoin wallet. And it just, if you've just seen that up there, it showed a little, it said just received. And right here, today's the 19th. They received, I received 0 0.02 Bitcoin. Okay. Uh -huh. So I go, to, I go to transactions. It shows right here. I can add a description if I wanted to. Why, why that came in, and I'm going to put training purposes because in a month or two I'm not going to know why I got a point two uh, point oh two deposit here. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. Um, there we go. <clears throat> so yesterday I, I did an upgrade for John, and I paid I paid for his uh, upgrade on my Bitcoin. So I made sure I made a, a note of it. So I paid it forward, and he's going to pay me back. But right now I went ahead and got him involved and went ahead and paid it forward. So I put his information here to let, let me know. Okay, John's going to John owes you point oh five oh four. Right here, 0 0.050471 Bitcoin. Okay, mm -hmm. so at some point in time, I'll, I'll you know get that back from him. But you know, I know that that happened on January 18th at 9:14 p.m. Okay, so um, that's how you transfer from Coinbase to blockchain. All right, Coinbase to blockchain. Now, once we have the money. Just, just assume that we just put the 05 in here instead of the 0 0.02. But now we want to fund my cause, right? Mm -hmm. So now we got to make sure every single time you do this that your link is the one that they're signing up under. So you need to make sure they are contributing to your name right here. So it says my name right now. Mm -hmm. right. Make sure that's that way. Because if it's not, and they go through this process, you're not going to be the one that gets paid. So that's very important. Okay, so start now. Okay. <clears throat> uh, unfortunately, this, uh, let me see if I can do this on that real quick. Um, is that, okay, so now uh, you're contributing to a good cause. Did I find out? Okay, so a good cause, I think, is the admin uh, name, right? So now, we're going to start now. Let's see if this works. Okay. See, and, and, and when the admin, when it says a good cause up there, 
-hmm. It's going to be the next person in line. William Russell is the next person in line. If somebody came off the internet and it came through a generic uh, lead somehow, they, this William Russell would get the uh, the sign up. Okay, so that's why when you, whenever you get somebody that comes in, you want to make sure that your name is there and not somebody else's. Okay. So very self-explanatory right here. You're just going to fill out. We're going to create any kind of username, email address, password, first name, last name, the country they live in, the phone number. The security question is very important. Um, make sure that they put, you know, something that they're obviously going to know. A lot of people put their maiden, their mother's maiden name or something like that. And then obviously you'll have to put the answer to that security question. So they'll have to say, mother, my mother's maiden name is or whatever. And then. Mm -hmm. Jackson right here, you know what I'm saying? And then boom, create account. Once that account is created, now I can come back here and get back on login here. And all you're needing to worry about at that point in time is to upgrade. Okay? I've already on stage three, but it doesn't matter if you're in stage one, two, three, four, five, it's all the same process. So first of all, it's going to ask you though to uh, create a wallet. On this wallet right here, you, all you do is hit Bitcoin wallet. Okay, I've already set my blockchain wallet up, but I'm going to go ahead and go through the process with you. Okay, so all you do is put blockchain.info slash wallet. That's the website that you're getting your money from right here, right? Okay, blockchain.info wallet. Then you need to find your wallet receive address. Okay. So the receive address is this address right here. You're going to take this address, copy that address, and you're going to bring it over to wallet address right here. Boom. Okay? You're going to mm -hmm. copy it and paste it right there. Then you're going to uh, put your um, the, the uh, security question you had in the last page. Yeah. That goes here. Boom. You hit submit. And your wallet is now set up to receive and, and send out Bitcoin. Okay. Fund My Cause is now set up as blockchain info and everybody that sends or upgrades in your system will now pay you through this, through this wallet on this receive account. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So when we go back to here, you go back here, and now we're going to upgrade. Okay, so first thing we had to do, write this down, is you had to you had to set up your Bitcoin wallet because you can't upgrade without a Bitcoin wallet, right? Right. So we had to, we had to upgrade. We have to put the Bitcoin wallet in, and now we're going to upgrade. This little drop down is a pain, and you know what? I don't know why it does that, but you've got to find your little cursor someplace to make it happen. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to upgrade. Okay, so. Right now, since I'm going to level four, it's showing point two. Okay, point two. If I was to upgrade right now, I would have to pay point two Bitcoin, mm -hmm. which is three times the amount of somebody just starting. You would normally see point zero five here. But for, for training purposes, I'm going to go ahead and, and do this. I'm not going to actually do the transfer, but I want to show you what, what you do. Okay. The first thing, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click the wallet address. It highlights the full address for you. Okay. Then you go back to your wallet and you're going to send because you're sending somebody money right now. So now you're sending money and not receiving. So that address goes right here. You go back to fund my cause and you click copy amount. Now you're copying that Bitcoin amount and you're taking it back over here and you're going to paste it right here. Okay. New total available minus blah 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 three blah blah blah. So now it's going to cost me to get into my fourth level one hundred and eighty dollars. Okay. So I hit next step. I hit send, and what happens is I'll upgrade at that point. Okay. Once I upgrade, they're going to want a transaction hash ID. So to get a transaction hash ID. All you do is go to 
Now, if I would have done what we just did, I would have a transaction, say I sent 0 0.2 Bitcoin. So I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to click on this little arrow, and I'm going to click on this little box with that arrow in it, right here. That's where you get your transaction ID. And that transaction ID is right here. Okay? Transaction ID is right here. You copy this number, right? And you come back to Bitcoin, and you put it right here. Okay. Okay? Now, what you're going to do is you're going to hit, so this is not going to work because obviously I didn't do that, but when you hit submit, a little working button will start right here, and it usually takes about 30 seconds to a minute, and, and it, and what, what, what it's doing is it's actually um, verifying what you did. Did you send this person a wallet? Well, you're verifying that by getting this number and putting it into the uh, Fund My Cause website. Now, Fund My Cause says, yes, you did do that. I'm going to upgrade you to this level, whatever level it is. So in this case, if I would have done that, it would have been level four. I'd be in level four. Okay. I'm not, I'm not ready to go into level four yet. I don't have enough people to, to satisfy me sending $180 yet. Okay. So mm -hmm. that, that's my, my next point. You don't want to move to your next level until you have enough money in your Bitcoin to make that purchase. So it's easy to go from level one to level two because in level two, all you need is 0.05 Bitcoin and you're getting one Bitcoin from your first three people, okay? And the reason why you want to go ahead and make sure you upgrade is because if you get a get somebody that's a fantastic recruiter and, you know, you put him in one day and two days later he's got ten people in and guess what? He's, he's went from level one to level three and you're still in level two, they're going to, he's going to bypass you. So you don't want, you don't, especially a good one, you don't want to let a good one get in front of you because obviously you're not going to make as much as if you were. You'll make money, but not as quickly because he gets jumped in front of you next. Right. Okay. So you always want to stay in front of your, your fastest people. So, um, and, and so in level three, you want to make sure that you have, in level three, you have to have uh, four people in it, right? Um, Level one is two, level level uh, three is four, and level four is eight. So in my third level, I want to make sure I have at least three people that have paid me in level three before I get into level four. And I have not had that happen yet, so that's why I'm not doing this yet. So because level three is point one Bitcoin. And so I need, so I need three people that'll give me 0 0.3 Bitcoin, but it only costs me 0 0.2 to get into level four. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Because I've made actually 0 0.1 Bitcoin Point. extra. Right. Yeah, and I'm only paying 0 0.2, but I had three people give me 0 0.1. So I've made an extra 0 0.1 Bitcoin. So I'm ahead of the game. I'm always ahead of the game. I don't want to feel like I'm behind. Okay. So. Is anything that I, I just said here in the last 15 minutes, is, is there any questions on how I got to where I got and what we need to do? No, I don't have any questions. I uh, had identified one person that I uh, want to invite. I believe he'll do it right away. And now I'm just thinking about who that second person is because I'd like to get that done in the next couple of days. Yeah, perfect. Uh, and, and bottom line is, uh, DJ, what you want to do is, is know that you're going to spend a little bit of time getting this part taken care of. Just, mm -hmm. just know it right off the bat that, hey, this is the hardest part, but once we get this part over with and that is completed, then we can move on. This part's real easy to do. So it's opening up a blockchain account is just a matter of sign up, you know, put your information in and move forward. Mm -hmm. All this is, all this is is a transfer agent. It cannot, you cannot fund this account with dollars. You can only fund this account from another Bitcoin currency. So, so for, all this, so since I have the coin one, I can now open the blockchain and fund it from the 
coin bank. Say that one more time, please. Since I have the Coinbase account now, I can, uh, at my discretion, open the blockchain and fund it from the Coinbase like you showed us today. That's correct. That's correct. Because you have both accounts open now, and you have a funding uh, account, uh, whether it be a credit card or a bank account, mm -hmm. and you can go ahead and fund uh, the account. See, I got a weekly card limit. This card will only allow me to buy $350 a week in Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. So, um, so if you have a credit card, then that's, you probably have the same number here. So I think the minimum is 350 Yeah, uh, I do. But, but so you'll probably want, but you know, you can put as much in there as you want. Right now, as we talked about, it's at $909. I, I probably should have bought $300 worth. A week ago, when it was still down in the 700s, because it's gone up $100 in a week. Mm. So, you, you know, it's kind of like playing the stock market a little bit, kind of trying to figure out when to buy and when to sell. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, in the long run, this thing's going to be at $2,000 someday anyway. So, if you want to accumulate $100 every other week or so or whatever, all you got to do is come in here and transfer the money into your, and it's in here anyway. It's not doing nothing. And you can, and you can take it out whenever you want. So it's not like you're spending the money, you know what I mean? Right. It's, it's just another account that your money's putting in. So anyway, so yeah, to answer your question, all you have to do is come here, hit buy, sell, it comes here, and then all you do is put in how much Bitcoin you want to put in, 0 0.05, 0 0.1, whatever it is. Uh, 0.1 right now is worth, 0.1 is worth uh, $90.87. Uh -huh. So point one would, you know, if you did point one one, that would give you enough money if you wanted to pay it forward and take care of somebody's uh, sign up for them, and then have them pay you at a later date. Mm -hmm. That's something I've been doing as well. And if you want to do it that way, it's totally up to you. It's, I mean, I'm just saying it, it, it creates a little bit of ease of, of a, um, like you guys had such a hard time. You know, getting signed up. If you if you just have them set their fund my cause up, and then you take care of the transfer and upgrade, and then at a later date when they can get their Coinbase and their Bitcoin wallet set up, then well they're going to have to get this blockchain. Excuse me. Let me back up just a second. No matter what, they have to have their blockchain wallet set up. The Coinbase, if you want to if you want to wait on that so they fund it and then they can transfer money at a later date to pay you back, that's fine. The Bitcoin blockchain wallet has to be put up because the reason why that is is because Fund My Cause has to have a wallet. Okay, they have to have a wallet to, to make to understand where the money's coming from. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying about this little guy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we we set up my coin uh, base account, so now I need to set up the blockchain. Okay, so if you haven't got the blockchain yet, you need to go over here and set that up. And that's all about just uh, put a blockchain.info, and then boom. Let me just uh, sign out of this, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, let me let me get out of this because this is my okay. Continue. To, okay, let me get out of this because it's because when you hit this blockchain.info, you come up to this page that I want to go to home. Let me do this. I want to get that front page again. Uh, this is the page right here. Okay, so this is create create a free Bitcoin account, a Bitcoin wallet. This is where you want your people to go. New users, take a few seconds to hit it. Okay. It's really the email password. It's, it's so simple. You, I mean, it's just email password. They will mm -hmm. send they will send an email to whatever email you have to verify that you are the person that set this account up. Okay. And then, and then once it once it's there, it's, it's done. I mean, that's all you have to do is email password. And then once you get into it, of course, they're going to want some, your your name and, and some other stuff. But um, I wanted to show you this a little bit because this is what is transpiring every single second of the day and how much people are buying at one time. 
one point two five five Bitcoin. There's a five thousand dollar there. I don't know if I can stop this thing or not. Um, but four Bitcoin there, ten Bitcoin there. There's ten thousand dollars being being bought and sold. And there's nine point eight right there. Four point four. So you can see um, it's a very liquid, very very liquid. Uh, mm -hmm. You can get this at any time. At any point, any point, whatever you want to do. With it. So, just wanted to show you that real quick to let you know what that's all about. Well, I appreciate your time. I'm going to um, need to run here shortly. So, is there anything else that uh, you need to bring to my attention? Well, I tell you, uh, the second training I'm going to do with you guys is actually uh, what I've been doing to to, to market the whole thing. 